This is Minecraft Trinity, a series inspired by flaming Moai's ultra hardcore generations. In this format, me and my two buddies try to beat the Ender Dragon Wither and Warden. On the way, everyone has one life like normal hardcore, but if somebody dies, they still have a chance. Because if one of us defeats one of the golds, everyone that died on the way gets their life back. We switch about every 15 in-game days and Sukanda started as the Wheel of Faith decided. Next in line is myself and then Professor Fink. Even though their videos are German, I'm sure you'd enjoy them. So make sure to check out the complete Minecraft Trinity playlist and their channels. I started this episode by melting all golden ore and equipment that was left. Okay, so short explanation for those who don't know, you can cook all gold tools and armor into nuggets apparently. I thought uh, it would give one ore, but well, a nugget is fine as well. Um, as you most of the time don't really use your golden tools. This is a great way to get a bit more gold and I want to max out the gold I have because I am so smart that I thought hey if I go to the nether and I don't know try to find a warp forest and kill a bunch of endermen I'm in huge danger. Every fight is danger and if I can just skip the fight, that would be a lot safer. So I want to go to the nether with all the gold and trade with some piglins. I don't know what the chances are of getting ender pearls, but I know that there are chances of getting an ender pearl or multiple. I don't really know. And I really hope this is enough gold, but I think with the 20 blocks, 20, uh, one block is 9 gold, so this is 180 gold, plus the 64 and the 84 that I already have. So I'll just dig this little hole and this one right next to it. Great, okay, he picked it up. Uh, why are you... Okay, thanks guys, thanks for picking it up in the air, really efficient, go in that, hey man, what an annoying douchebag, just go in there, yeah, right, and now just like this and yeah, okay, at least one, one is fine. It will take a lot longer this way, but, <laughs> well, I hope that Hawkland doesn't come to this place. Um, yeah, so I'll, oh, actually two ender pearls already. Okay, if it goes this way, I won't be here long. Um, but as I wanted to say, I'll probably cut this out. This is pretty boring. So, see you soon. I traded a good while and was left with two sticks of gold and got eight ender pearls out of it, meaning I was halfway through for the 16 I should make before finding the stronghold. So, I returned to the overworld and finally crafted two fermented ice and made some weakness potions, as well as some golden apples to cure the zombified villagers. Okay, is there a. Um, I mean, very nice. Um, now we should have enough stuff with these three in there to purify six villagers and I don't think we have much more. I think we have seven or eight, so two that can't be purified, but that is okay. Then I wanted to return to the nether to trade even further, but got an idea as I went in. Oh, I don't even have to fight the enderman. I can just make a boat and boat trap them, right? That's what everyone does, isn't it? Okay, so let me, let me back. Okay, good. And I'll make a, I'm like a boat. Then I search for warp forest. Come on, dude. Let me back to the overworld. Thank you. Uh, so I'll make a boat. 
then search for a warp forest and then trap endermen one by one and easily easily get some ender pearls. So I crafted a boat, returned to the nether and looked for a warp forest to then trap some endermen and kill them for the ender pearls. Ah, look at how easy that is. Come on, you next. I killed a few endermen until I had the missing ender pearls. <gasps> Where did it go? Okay, I have the pearl. Just don't die now. He's got. Oh, ow. Okay, that wasn't him. Now I have you. Okay, and another one. That is definitely enough. So, time to return home. Back at base, I turned the ender pearls into eyes of ender, but I didn't want to go like this, so I made some sticks and grabbed the sugar cane to once again return to the village. There it is. Ah, oh, slavery, amusement, um, I mean, our nice neighborhood. Our nice neighborhood. With the previously harvested sugarcane, I finished the sugarcane farm and used the rest to craft some paper. With that, I made a librarian with efficiency for level 2. I used my golden axes to cut down the trees and had an itch. Okay, time to make some stonks. Let's see what your prizes are. 44. Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? Screw this. It's night anyway. Um, shit, I don't have enough wood. Give me a second. It's night anyway. What we'll zombie fight that motherfucker now? I'll make a trapdoor in the wall and hopefully that will allow me to get a zombie to reach him, but him not being able to go out. If you know what I mean. I think two should be enough. Okay. So, make a hole. Oh, already two suspects. Look, they really want your ass. Okay. Then make a way, just like this. And move the set away. No. Um. Ah, oh, shit, I can't push them. Okay. Maybe if he... Okay, doesn't follow me. What if I just break the block and then put the trapdoor right here? Break that. Um, okay, nice. That one is in. And you have to go. And now if I... Ah, okay. So I need to open and close this. Um, hmm. Okay, nice. Now just be careful to not kill the villager. Very nice. Very nice. That worked so well. I think I will do this with some others as well. After I went inside to check who I wanted to zombify, I decided to do the Featherfall 4 villager. And as I tried, I had some minor problems, like this zombie carrying a baby zombie. As I killed the big zombie, the baby zombie got stuck and zombified a villager inside that had the baby zombie on top. And when I tried to kill the baby zombie, the villager died. Um, yeah, that's how I lost that one. And you died as well, due to a baby zombie, the other just burned to death after zombifying. What the fuck, this was so, so not what I wanted, <laughs> this uh, went so terribly bad and everything got destroyed by creepers, for fuck's sake. So let's see. If this was even worth the while. 26. You know, it's not so good, but I can live with it. Okay, you won't buy anymore. Well, it's okay. It, It's decent. Um, I don't know if I have to experimental for the 
for the for the you know the balanced uh, villagers. I don't know if I have that on, uh, but it seems fine. Twenty six sticks. You have that quite fast. Oh well. With the emirates made, I grabbed the last few mending books and after breaking and placing this lectern a couple of times, the villager sold Featherfall 4. So I grabbed as much sugar cane as I could to craft some paper to bring him as close as I probably could to level 2. No, almost shit. Ah, fuck, okay, but we already have 85. Um, well, it's no use then. I'll just grab all of my stuff and leave this here and return home. Okay, quickly grab all of the enchantment books and and yeah, okay. Now mending on this. Okay, uh, that's fortune. Protection 2, mending on this, then mending on this, mending on this helmet, this should almost be perfect armor wise. Uh, no, we need maybe sharpness, yeah, sharpness and then mending, pretty nice, and now fortune 3 and oops, and no, mending as well. It's really nice. Really good. Okay, now I'll quickly write the Trinity log. Mm, sadly. Alright, that is my entry. And now it's night already, and like last time, I just go to bed. Who will stop me? And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment your thoughts down below. A heads up for you guys, the next episode will be very interesting. Until then, I hope to see you in the next one, dear plug enjoyers.